ಸ್ವಹಂ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ನೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಂಧಂ So hi everyone namaste today we are going to speak about very interesting and a very important question for the kriya yoga meditation and just for the esoteric tradition this is a symbolism of the agni deva so actually agni is a god of divine fire and of course um, agni deva or god of divine fire is a very special um, aspect of the vedic tradition and the ancient esoteric tradition so okay um according to the um, uh, vedic uh, hindu approach and also um, basically the same is in a Buddhist tradition and the Western esoteric tradition. Um, actually, there are five elements, and um, they are um, actually constructing um, this universe, including uh, your personal reality. In Sanskrit language, we call it Pancha Tattva. Pancha means five, Tattva means principles. but in this sense we are speaking not just about principles but we are speaking about elements five elements okay element of space it's a throat chakra okay element of um wind vayu tattva that's um heart chakra um then it uh, then goes manipura chakra and um, fire element and that's exactly agni agni tattva okay then um the next is the svadhisthana chakra sacrum and this is um element of water in sanskrit jala tattva and um, then the last one in this in sequence of creation is element of earth or prathivi tattva in sanskrit or another sanskrit name is um, bhumi tattva okay as you know pretty well we have um, seven chakras and uh, two chakras like mid brain and fontanel that two chakras are they uh, connected with um, uh, consciousness absolute consciousness is the sahasrara chakra and the um, ajna chakra mid brain area is the personal consciousness which is actually you know practicing meditation and go through the process of spiritual divine evolution and all creation actually it's a five lower chakra that's the reason why five element, elements they uh, connect it with the uh, five uh, lower chakras and basically the location is a spine um okay the question is why uh, element of fire or in sanskrit we called agni deva agni means fire and deva means okay god uh why uh, this um, element of fire is very special okay um this element of fire uh, actually um, increase few very important functions and okay we can say aspects of your life uh, let me start with um, physical health and um, okay it actually doesn't matter what come what kind of age you have at the moment maybe 30 40 50 years old but the question is not only what kind of health you enjoy right now but the question is what kind of health you will enjoy when you going to be let us say 85 95 etc so if you um wish if you need okay self healing if you wish if you need strong physical health and i'm sure you need it okay in any age so it means you have to awake element of fire which is agni deva in the kriya yoga tradition we have very special pranayama technique 
breathing exercise which is Nabi Mudra and this is uh, one of the most um, fundamental uh, breathing technique because it works with um, exactly we awake element of fire in the area of um, okay uh, lumbar uh, that's um, um, Manipura chakra and um, then we bring this fire element to the spine to, to like to all parts of the body and finally we purify and open chakras so that's the meaning of this um, breathing exercise which we call um, Nabi Mudra and of course right now I'm not going to describe all details because you have to learn it um, like um, directly uh, from the masters and okay that's a question for the seminar retreats and the master classes anyway um, uh, traditionally uh, Kriya Yoga meditation, I mean centuries and centuries back, was like that. First year and sometimes two or even three, four years, any disciple um, just must uh, practice uh, this Nabi Mudra Pranayama. So first work with Agni Deva. Uh, and only after one or maybe two, four or five years, any master could initiate into meditation of course now we um, learn meditation directly but anyway even if you start to learn meditation directly and that's absolutely okay anyway uh, better to practice this um, Nabi Mudra Pranayama technique because then you can increase your element of fire so okay element of fire as the foundation for the meditation and good health because um, your organs, kidney, liver, you know, whatever, you know, you know your, your physical uh, fitness is a result of Agni, um, element of Agni, it is symbolically uh, Agni Deva, God of Fire. Then let me um, speak about intellect. Okay, in Sanskrit intellect we call Buddhi, and the Buddhi is intellect. And um, okay, in the modern Western culture, we understand um, intellect, um, okay, as certain logic uh, capacity, logic, uh, logical thinking, knowledge. And if we call somebody, okay, this person is intellectual, means he knows a lot, he or she, and may, you know, think. Um, analyze um, just logically but at the same time Vedic understanding um, understanding of the intellect is totally different or at least slightly different okay we call it Buddhi intellect and uh, according um, to Vedic approach um, Buddhi or intellect includes also intuition contemplation and meditation so much um, more capacity if we understand uh, intellect um, in a Vedic way. Um, well, and, uh, according to the ancient scriptures and the oral tradition, the function of your intellect directly depend on the level of your Agni Deva or God of Fire which is actually inside of you. And God of Fire or Agni Deva is a divine fire which is actually invisible. I mean to say if you take candle yeah that's example of fire but very small one um, actually um, Agni Deva element of uh, fire or God of fire it's an invisible uh, fire, divine fire which is just everywhere including your intellect including your physical body okay ancient scriptures and um, oral tradition um, uh, telling us that actually the proper function of your intellect or Buddhi depend on this mystical divine fire. It means that if you increase uh, element of fire, your intellect function better. What does mean intellect? That's a huge question. What is the difference between intellect and the mind? For the Kriya Yoga tradition, it's a huge um, question. Okay, uh, we think. Um, we memorize, we analyze, 
um, um, okay, that's actually job for the brain, no question about that. But the mystical source of some um, brain function are in chakras. Okay, memory, for example, goes from throat chakra, Vishuddha chakra. Okay, intellect, it's actually Anahata chakra, heart chakra. And um, uh, mind, in Sanskrit, we call it Manas, is actually Manipura chakra. So, in all that uh, chakras and all that um, function of your um, brain, after all, uh, depend on level of um, Agni. That's the message from scriptures and oral tradition. Intellect or Buddhi is a decision-making capacity. Decision-making about what? Basically about everything, including philosophical, religious questions, okay, your life purpose, business, family life, everything, uh, you know, you have to, um, you know, always to to make decision, decision making is extremely important for everything, and it's depend on intellect. Intellect depend on fire or element of fire, which is Agni Deva, God of Fire. So that's you know, logically easy to understand importance of um, uh, Agni or fire, divine fire. Okay, next uh, spiritual um, aspect and spiritual importance of uh, element of fire. Okay. In Sanskrit language, um, we have certain terms, certain word, which is meditation. Okay, in English we say meditation, um, but in Sanskrit we call it dhyana. Dhyana in Sanskrit means meditation. But the word, term, dhyana, came from buddhi or intellect. So it means we have um, actually two or three main tools for the meditation and the most important is buddhi or intellect let me remind you when i speak about uh, intellect i mean vedic kind of um, okay vedic way of understanding which is okay logical thinking um, intuition and contemplation etc so it means buddhi or intellect main instrument main tool for the meditation and as you remember Buddhi itself depends on the element of fire. So it means your meditation, and okay, um, meditation actually you know, the main tool for the spiritual evolution, for the enlightenment. So it means, um, again, um, the, the logic is very clear. First fire, then Buddhi or intellect, then meditation, and then enlightenment or divine evolution. So again, the, the first step is fire. Um, uh, of course, if we take um, such a very interesting question like um, Kundalini energy, special divine energy in the spine, we have a number of aspects of Kundalini power, um, which is actually the, the, the main and uh, divine energy for the transformation, spiritual transformation, um, as well as, uh, you know, the level of your Kundalini actually uh, also brings um, actually your fitness in, in, in all senses. I mean, you can be proactive, you can be healthy, and that's also level of your Kundalini, which is mystical divine energy of your spine. And there are four major aspects in Kundalini, and that's the first one, Kundalini of fire, or in Sanskrit, Agni Kundalini. Again, the very first step in the Kundalini process is fire, then Kundalini of sun, uh, that's Surya Kundalini, then Kundalini of moon, that is Soma Kundalini, and finally Jyoti Kundalini, that's Kundalini of light. Well, we're not going to speak um, in all, with all details about Kundalini process at the moment, but just let me mention importance of um, um, Agni Tattva, element of um, Agni in the process of Kundalini as well. Uh, and Kundalini is a spiritual transformation, and um, okay, your social success is also, um, and good health uh, strongly uh, connected with the level of, uh, and the power of your Kundalini. 
okay let us mention about um um old and new testament so it means christian bible and the jewish bible moses he spoke with the lord god and lord god spoke with the moses through the um, medium of fire um and again so lord god he actually uh, appeared um, in front of moses in the form of agni so that's also important um and in the um, christian bible it's a gospel acts all that uh, great parts of the new testament when jesus just um you know he blessed um his apostles his disciples with the holy spirit actually holy spirit you know the experience of the holy spirit as you remember for the apostles was like a fire divine fire which was in a sense physical in a sense visible but it was not a normal fire which we have in the case of okay candle for example so it means uh, fire uh, as an element is um, a really fundamental um, uh, question for good health, for the function of the intellect. It means uh, decision-making capacity and um, also spiritual evolution. So that's um, basically a reason why uh, it's a very important, especially in the beginning and believe me, on all steps of your uh, uh, spiritual uh, pathway, your meditation practice, like pay attention to them, this um, very, very important um, element of fire, which is Agnideva in Sanskrit, God of fire, invisible, divine uh, fire, which is just everywhere and extremely powerful and important. Okay, let me complete this video for today. And of course, in the end, I invite you to watch all my videos actually about Kriya meditation, chakras, Himalayan masters, lucid dreams, okay, uh, positive intention according with the Vedic tradition that's Sankalpa Yoga. So many, many questions we reincarnation and etc. etc. So I have a lot of videos about all that um, really important questions for the self-development and spiritual evolution. I'm sure um, if you will see that videos, you will benefit. Uh, um, and um, okay, God bless you and see you next time.